What did you think about Lighthouse? It helped me. Yeah. It helped me to get over my father. Tell me about your father. Well, my dad died when I was three and a half. And I miss him and he was a really nice guy. The hardest thing for me was probably um, seeing other people with dads and at school when they like they see their dad picking them up by surprise and they run and jump in their arms or something like that. Mm -hmm. That used to hurt me a lot and I found a kind of like a comfort at Lighthouse and it's a place where you might think that like it's hard to share your feelings but it's easy because you feel like you found a family in some ways we are special because we we were touched um, and challenged in life and uh, and it, it just it, it makes you closer as a family uh, as a group sometimes um, so yeah it just does wonders oh it's fantastic but it came with vision I knew then that I wanted it to be much larger, to be able to service more families, because essentially that is really what we're there for. And that's the thing that speaks to me, is the more families that can be touched by this and to be able to know more about themselves through this process, our world becomes an infinitely better place. I really didn't know what to do. I, you know, I felt a little lost and I, brought my kids to, uh, they went to school right after, uh, right after it happened. And the school was really great. And they actually, um, they had the counselors meet with my children and they gave me some brochures about the lighthouse. And I really didn't know what was the right thing to do. So I decided to call. And about a month later, I was signed up to go to the lighthouse. It wasn't around. At the time, we ended up adopting two boys who lost their both parents in a car accident. And um, so they had nobody. And I, we wish that Lighthouse had been there at that time. It would have been a great help. You really saw that you wanted to be able to service as many families as possible, to have a, a proper big building, and to be able to educate people around grief and what that looks like in schools, educate family members, educate people that it is not the stigma that it, that it was. There's been so much research now to show how damaging that can be. Sort of waiting to see about the training to be a facilitator. I've really enjoyed the Lighthouse and, and what they do and I think it's important to give back and I think just from you know what I've gone through that I could definitely you know help benefit others. It's you know terrible to think about how what one of these events does to the way your life proceeds after that. But you know life takes you down different paths, and it's making the most of the path you're on. And the nice thing is you have a community that's willing to help you. So we took our time, studied very carefully, and we came up with the conclusion that what would make the most sense for us is that Lighthouse goes out once to the community for a one-time ask and say, we will now raise funds for our own center so that we lock in a permanent asset because our four walls are much more than four walls. They are the community that we're trying to create. So it's not easily replicated anywhere. The four walls and the spaces that we have here, the way that the children use the spaces, the way that the families meet, are reflected by our physical environment. So this physical space is an integral part of what we deliver. They love all the spaces that we have here, um, but we, I think we're all a little tired of being on top of each other. And it would be really great to have an art room that is just dedicated to the art, because often for children, um, sitting in the pillow room and talking is not the way that they express their feelings. Um, they really need another outlet, which art is the, the primary way that they can get that. And I think our arguments were convincing that we were able to demonstrate need, urgency and sustainability. And 
then it was just an invitation to all the donors that we talked to, come join us. Because if you join us, somebody else will join us too. Uh, I was very impressed with what they do and their operation when I went to see them. And clearly their facilities were, were lacking. And uh, she got a good group of people mobilized and, and uh, we were glad to be part of that and yeah. help, uh, help get her going. What we offered was a two-story addition, 16 by 28 addition on the back of the, uh, on, on the, back of the existing church, uh, complete. And um, we get, uh, the work was provided some by ourselves. Uh, a lot of trades and other suppliers and stuff come on board and donate their time and services. And so it's really, it's a free cost to, to Lighthouse. Um, just a lot of good people get involved and Canadian likes to manage that. We seem to manage that fairly well for people. And I'm very impressed. I, you know, anything to do with children, I'm all for. So uh, uh, it was, it's a great, uh, great opportunity for me to help. I've been out of out of work, or not out of work, I've been retired for 13 years. So uh, this is my, just getting back into it now with this, with this project and uh, it's been uh, very interesting. That's how we looked at it as well, it's an investment in the community and the community needs each other to be strong and at a time like a lighthouse need, there's a, it's just an incredible need that you have to be around to help each other. And if you can do it in a situation like the new lighthouse, how much better to be comfortable, to feel you belong, that there's something there that is a home away from your home, where you can let your hair down, talk to others who understand you, and heal, so that you can go on and make, your, make something good out of your life further on. That we said, okay, if we are scaling our own growth up to double, can we do actually anything else with that and we said yes we can actually become a training center we become a training and resource center the one thing that's always at the core of the most successful ones is a passion for the real cause it's not a business for the in the sense of a normal business where i want to make money at it it's you just want to help more people and it and it becomes almost you have to almost be zealous about it in order to have that uh, so it becomes a mission and the most successful ones are like that and big and small. I think the, the great thing about the campaign is that it's more than simply a bricks and mortar campaign. Yeah. It's also to support program uh, beyond and uh, which I think is a goes a long way to ensure the sustainability of Lighthouse. An important day for us, our new Lighthouse finally opens its doors and we thank the following lead sponsors that have made our lighthouse not just beautiful, but affordable. This is our permanent home that we own outright and will open our doors on Monday. Many gifts in kind of cash, of time, of expertise have been given to us in addition to those lead gifts. Many hundreds of people. And without them, we couldn't have done it. So all of this is the Lighthouse community that is investing in the value of family and we are incredibly grateful. Like you're wrapping your arms around our Lighthouse community today and for the many families of years to come. Thank you.